We talk a lot and we've seen a lot here at Black Expo on laser cutting, uh, but what's a, something different here, this is water jet. Now I have seen this a few times around the world. Uh, Ralph, can you explain firstly, before we talk about the brand of the machine and some of the, the uh, benefits to your, um, to your product, what is water jet cutting and why is it different from laser? What can you do differently? The water jet cutting is a cold cutting. That means you have water, high pressure water, which uh, gets added uh, um, garnet, which then makes the cutting itself. Yeah. So it's like a sand, isn't it? You have a sand that mixes with the water. Yes. Um, what, what's the mixture of that? Is there a lot of sand compared to the water? No, what's no it's about 90% water and 10% uh, abrasive. Okay, now what can you cut as well? Because lasers, we're talking about metallics. Okay. What about on the water jet? You can uh, basically cut everything, yeah? if it's uh, steel, if it's uh, uh, aluminium, if it's glass, if it's stone, tiles, uh, everything, all materials. And, and what sort of pressure do you have to exert? What pressure of force comes through the water in order to okay. cut? I suppose that depends on the material, does it? It depends a little bit on the machine itself, but the, the standard class where you are cutting is about uh, 4,000 bar. A little okay. bit more than at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a lot, quite a lot. Now tell me about the, the depths or the heights of parts you can water jet as well, because that's different to a laser cut. That's where exactly. you get an advantage too. The, la uh, the laser is uh, that limited to a, um, a special material, so you cannot cut with the same laser all kind of material. And also the thickness is limited. In water jet, the thickness is basically limited by the machine itself, so we can cut 150 millimeter steel. The cut itself is then a little bit slower than in, small, in, in, in flat material, but you can also have a high resolution on that. And, and how's my surface finish going to be and my tolerance using this process? How do they compare? The surface tolerance is similar to sand blasting because we are using sand and this is sand blasting more or less, yeah, yeah. with water. Okay, I'm, 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 so the tolerances I did read in a brochure, 0.02 you can achieve. Like yes, that. yes, we can uh, have a, about uh, 20 micron, yeah, plus minus 20 micron on accuracy on a cut. Is it a slow process? It is comparatively slow when you go on uh, flat material against laser or plasma cutting, but it has a higher quality and you don't need to uh, after work that, yeah, because there is no heat zone, it's the cold, and that's the basic uh, uh, advantage so of water jet. It's a cold process. Now, what's the? Uh, is there any health and safety risks here? No. You know, with, with, with the, f the force of the jet. I mean, I, I know it's fully surrounded there, isn't it? it so it's you can't. Surrounded. Uh, so it's surrounded. You have uh, the, the, the distance between the nozzle and the material is about 1.5 millimeters. So there's no finger in between. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so normally the machine doesn't need any uh, safety elements. But if you like to add that, because you're internal company politics says that you can do of course yeah. uh, right i want to walk you around here ralph because this is uh this this kind of uh, caught my eye and i'm sure it's catching a lot of people's eye at the exhibition let's go to um uh, what what are, what do we got here i mean a straightforward question are these something that you've you've made or this is something to do with our company logo yeah with the evolution yeah and we have took the evolution on, on four steps because our machine, our jet machines, they are quiet, they are precise, they are easy to use and they are affordable. Yeah? And so where we are is the front. It's Some of my colleagues look like this one still <laughs> and then this one looks a lot like me. By the, it's got my sort of structure, this one, hasn't it? No, this is a special, um, let's say, um, a metal a company and they do these kind of figures out of let's say uh, used parts yeah yeah wow and, it's and, pretty and they have standard uh, pieces and so we bought we made them our company logo in this kind of metal structure yeah wow brilliant really like I this. will show you now material uh, thing parts I show you now parts which are cut by water jet okay yeah Perfect, so this is a good example of what you... So here you have 100 uh, millimeter tool steel. Right, yeah? Okay, tool steel. Yeah. With an accuracy of uh, uh, 1.5, no, 0.15 millimeter from the top to the bottom. Wow, that's you cool. have uh, aluminium, you have um, stainless steel, you have uh, fiber, glass fiber, you have uh, uh, so CFK. It's a, it's, a, it's a much more versatile uh, 
product, isn't it? That's uh, the correct name. You have stone, you have tiny parts, you have thick parts, yeah? all with the same machine. Is, is, are they more expensive than a laser cutter or cheaper? No, it's, uh, the, the process probably is similar, yeah? so the cost per hour, but uh, the machine is cheaper. Uh, what, so the economics, the power that you need to run it, yeah. is about the same, but the actual machine to purchase is less. Wow, that's a really great insight, um, okay. Ralph. I uh, hope you've learned a lot there about water jet and the types of materials that you can do, the flexibility, and also look at these wonderful uh, well, statues, I should say, and certainly the one on the end that looks a lot like me. Thank you very much, Ralph. Thank you. Have a nice day.